Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the collective. Hi, collective. I know I missed y'all all day. And um, I know Taurus and Scorpio, y'all the last two readings of the day. I don't want to be honest with you. I don't know if I can push out. You know, normally my readings are about an hour. I don't know if I can push out two hours. But I do feel like I've been working on my throat all day. All day. Ginger root, lemon, raw honey. You know, I have been doing the most trying to get this throat together. I already sound like a man. And I know it's not helping that I sound the way that I do. But thank you all for being here. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. So I tell you, oh, spirit, all day long, I've been in the bed resting, which anybody who knows me, I am not the type that will sit around on my butt. I do not sit around. I do not lay around. I stay busy. But I have been telling spirit that, you know, I want to rest. So I guess they said, well, we're going to make you sick. So you go sit down. So I've been sitting down and I got a little cough drop in my, uh, in my jaw, y'all. So, um, you know, to help the throat, to help the throat, but we're going to do a quick collective reading so I can say I posted today, uh, cause you know, I ain't missed a day. And even though I'm not feeling my best, I love y'all so much. I miss y'all. Um, so I'm going to do a quick um, collective read. And then um, I didn't slip all day. So Scorpio, if I feel up to it, don't be surprised if you wake up and there is a reading for you in Taurus. Because I have literally slept all day. All day. So that's it, y'all. Let's jump right in. Let's see what Spirit has for us. Spirit Guides. Ancestors, great divine, I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of the collective of all 12 zodiac signs. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of the collective of all 12 zodiac signs. What is it that we need to know? I thank you uh, by way of Holy Spirit. I thank you, Ashe. All right, y'all, let's jump in. Let's see what Spirit got for us. Y'all don't even understand how much I miss y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, all day, all this morning. I was like, oh my God, I didn't post this morning. But this morning, y'all, you wouldn't have been able to understand me at all. Like, at all. My voice was, it was, ooh, it was gone. <laughs> it was gone. All right, y'all, let's jump in. Let's see what Spirit got. Spirit, let me get five cards. Y'all starting out strong with the King of Pentacles upright, the Empress upright, the uh, Ace of Swords upright, the Seven of Swords upright with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Let me tell you something. You know why I'm saying you starting out strong? Because it is without a doubt you are going to have victory and success. Without a doubt, Spirit is about to give you somebody out here in the collective money 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 can i say it again money 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 it is without a doubt you will have it as the empress you're birthing new opportunities to make money and you will have money you will have so much money you can provide and share it with others everything and i mean everything you're touching is turning to go Everything. The sword of truth is here. That is the truth. The truth is you're going to have victory and success over any obstacles and money is headed right your way. Now, the problem is, though, somebody is eyeing your damn money. And all they're looking for is an opportunity for you to let your guard down. 
Somebody's trying to come in and steal. Somebody wants to steal all this money-making opportunity that you have. They want to steal your money. They want to steal the opportunity. The only thing they need from you is for you to let your guard down for even just a second. Let's look into it. Spirit, let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Can y'all hear me? Let me see some here. I don't know if that's going to help or not. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Clarify the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is being clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. I'm excuse me. High Priestess in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups upright. So what I see here is somebody wants to come towards you and play nice. Yeah, somebody from your past, they want to come in and share some loving kindness to you, collective, with the Six of Cups. And they're willing to say and do whatever they need to and tell you whatever you need to hear. They're going to pretend like they're telling you their secrets. Whatever you need to hear. I'm going to do and say whatever I need to so you think that I'm being cool towards you. Hmm. Clarify the Empress. The Empress is being clarified <clears throat> by the Three of Swords in reverse, the Fool in the upright, and the Queen of Cups upright. So what this is telling me, Collective, is that somebody wants a, a brand new start with you. They want to heal the situation between the two of y'all and they want to come in and show you love. This person sees that you can birth new opportunities as the Empress. So they want to um, they want to come together and fix whatever's going on. Because, I mean, everything you touch is turning to gold. So somebody wants to be on your team. Okay. They want to show you love. They want a brand new start with you. They want to heal whatever's broken between y'all because it's like shit. Collective's the winning team. I want to be a part of the winning team. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is being clarified by the Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. The truth of the matter is, collective. The person is coming towards you. And I don't know if this sound right. Hold on, y'all. The truth of the matter is, the person is coming towards you. They got an overindulgence problem, but they want to tell you that they're not toxic. I didn't let that. They want you to believe that they didn't left their overindulging ways and third parties alone. They got to get you to believe it. That they not toxic. That they not out here on no funny business. Somebody overindulges bad with third parties. They be acting like they a kid in a goddamn candy store. I want this, 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 and this. <coughs> yeah, but they want you to believe they the devil in reverse. Like, I didn't let all that go collective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I used to act like a kid in a candy store. But now... I'm uh, the devil reverse. I didn't let it go. I didn't let left all my overindulging ways behind me. Do y'all believe this shit? Clarify the seven of swords.
somebody is upset. And the reason why I'm telling you they're upset is because, see, this person is trying to get away with something, but they're going to play cool. Truth be told, collective, the feeling that pops in my head is that somebody is mad at you. So they want to come in and they want to play cool with you to really get away with something. But they are upset. How do I know they're upset? Because you got the Eight of Swords in reverse with the Page of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Who would be happy about nobody giving them nothing? Nobody. So somebody is going to pretend like they didn't let it go that you... You know, oh, no, nah, collective, I ain't worried about, you know, I know you you stopped giving to me, but I ain't worried about it. I ain't stressing out about it. Well, if you ain't stressing out about it, then why you being sneaky? So, like, let's say you decided, like, you used to look out for somebody and then they casually be like, nah, man, I ain't even worried about you not giving to me. I ain't worried about that. That's water under the bridge. But they coming back, but they got ulterior motives to get away with something. So, it's almost like in your face. You know how people will play like they're not mad, but they really mad. So it's like they lying to your face. This person really has, they're upset because you stopped giving to them. But they're going to play like they let it go. <clears throat> Get another cop drop. We're going to clarify the nine of wands in reverse. Clarify the nine of wands in reverse, please, spirit. Nine of Wands in reverse is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles upright and the Ten of Cups in reverse. See, this person wants you to let your guard down, right? They want you to let your guard down. So they're going to play cool. But this person, I'm telling you, if you think that they have let it go, that you took back an offer and that you don't see them as their Ten of Cups, you are sadly mistaken. Somebody is not letting it go. If you took back your offer from somebody and was like, no, nah, I don't want to be with you. Uh, 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 and you got all this money coming and you think somebody going to come back and you like, no, nah, I don't see you as my ten of cups. Somebody is holding on to a grudge. I'm telling you. Somebody has not let go of a grudge. Let's talk about why. Let's clarify that four pentacles. Spirit. Why is this person holding on to a grudge? Clarify that for. Thank you, Spirit. think with the hangman here in the upright the knight of cups in reverse the seven of pentacles in the upright and the knight of swords in reverse it's almost like somebody is in contemplation about it right somebody <coughs> excuse me y'all somebody is heavily thinking about how they kept you you know they all in their head Somebody is heavily thinking about changing how they look at stuff when it comes to you and why they hold on to stuff. I think somebody thought. I don't think that this person thought that you was going to let go of them. Even though things between the two of y'all was growing slow, they didn't think that you would reject their offer. You know how sometimes people just think that they, they mean more to us? Then they, it's almost like, you know, sometimes people think higher of themselves than they should. So maybe somebody thought that they meant more to you than, 
than they really did. Or maybe they thought that you just didn't love yourself like that. But they didn't think that you was going to reject the offer even though things was going slow. They like they just and they mad about it. Somebody is mad. Spirit, what else you want us to know? Y'all got to forgive me. It's dark in here and I can't see. So I'm trying to use my light to make sure I pick up all the cards. <laughs> What you don't realize, collective, is that with the two of wands in reverse and the sun upright, the king of cups upright, the five of wands in reverse, the death reverse, and the four of cups upright, somebody was not, like, they want you to know <coughs> that they had no plans on you not being their ultimate happiness. Like, they had no plans. On like, like at the end of the day, they thought that you was going to be the one that they was going to be happy with, that you was going to be the one that they was going to settle with. Like they had a plan and eventually they weren't going to have you in competition with other people. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they want you to know, like it was never their plan to not be happy with you. It was never my plan collective for us to break up. It was never my plan to never not be with you. Like you were supposed to be the end all be all. You are supposed to be the end all be all. You're supposed to be the one I'm happy with. The one I give my love to. I ain't trying to have you in chaos and conflict with other people. You know what I'm saying? I want to come back to you. Because you were supposed to be the one. But they're upset because you're closed off. Remember them boundaries? They want to let you to let your boundaries down. But you are closed off. You know what just popped in my head? This person feels entitled to your money because you all, in their mind, was always supposed to be together. Now, it's looking to them like, yeah, the relationship was moving slow, but we was always supposed to be together. So technically, that's my money too because I, me and you were supposed to be together. <coughs> So they got a problem with this because now you are the empress in this king of pentacles and you thinking that you don't want to be, you closing yourself off from them. And it's like, no, uh, -uh. at the end of the day, you knew me and you were supposed to be together. You know, good and damn well. And this is probably why they're harboring this resentment because it's like, how the hell are you just going to kick me out? Spirit, what else you got? You got somebody fucked up. Let me tell you why. Because... They had no intentions, I'm telling you, on you not working with them. You acting like you trying to move on without them. It's only, listen, like you done turned your back and you talking about you moving towards peace. Like you don't want to work with them. They got a problem with it. They got a problem with it. This really has somebody very weak that, like they had a goal. You know what I'm saying? You know how sometimes people have a plan in mind. And you ain't meeting a plan that they had in their mind. They go at the end of the day that they had because you're at a stalemate with them. They never had the intentions on y'all breaking up permanently. 
or being kicked out of your life permanently. Like that was never supposed to be the goal. You got somebody fucked up and they're holding it in, but they're going to come back and play cool. But it's to get you back because it's like, how dare you make me feel like this? So you're at a stalemate with this person, but they're trying to act like they cool. But really, this person is very defensive about all this shit. Somebody is mad. This person is mad. This landed on the Seven of Swords. They feel very offended by you. And this is why they're harboring all this resentment. It's kind of like you've been with somebody for so long and they knew that like, like y'all both had things going on in their mind. I got stuff going on. You got stuff going on. We taking a break. They go off and play on their break. You end it. And then you glow up. And they're like, but wait a minute. <coughs> At the end of the day, me and you was always supposed to be together. And you knew this. You knew that I was always going to come back to you. You knew that I wasn't going to be out here in these streets like this. We was temporarily broken up. Yeah, I talked to other people. But what they got to do with anything? Somebody is shitty. Because they not expecting. They was never expecting you to be. You know what I'm saying? Have all this money. What you can't see is that somebody's intention the whole time with the moon upright in the nine of pentacles in reverse is that their whole time, their intentions, I'm telling you, was to come back and to connect to you. They never not wanted to be with you, even though they went off with other people. There was just a minute in time for them to get themselves together. Their intention was always to be with you and put you, oh, they're going to tell you, and to put you above everybody else. That was always my intention, collective, was to put you above everybody. They are fucked up because it's like you telling them with the three of cups in reverse and the eight of cups, I mean, the three of cups in reverse and the eight of cups, so right, like, I'm cool. I don't want to break bread with you. I don't want to celebrate with you. I don't want to be with you. Deuces. And you walking away. And this got somebody fucked up. Because I'm telling you, they never intended on this being a permanent thing. They thought your child was going to have like a temporary whatever. It's looking like a temporary separation. And during y'all little separation, they talked to other people. Your ass bossed up. But they feel like they was always supposed to have been with you. So... They feel like they have just as much a right to be with you because of this glow up. Whatever you got going on is making you have all this bread. They feel like they deserve to be a part of it. Because at the end of the day, y'all were supposed to be together. They're mad at you because they feel like you switched up. You switched up. You changed how it was supposed to go. Oh, you got money and now you trying to kick me out. So they're mad at you because you look, one, selfish. Two, like you try to make this permanent. And so they're like, well, maybe if I come in and I tell them I got rid of all my third parties, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the collective will let their guard down. But trust and believe they are trying to get you back. Let's talk about that Seven of Swords. Spirit, clarify that Seven of Swords. So this person's plan is to come in and tell you some of the truths, right? To try to act like they want to get stuff balanced with you. But the truth is, y'all ain't going to get nothing off the ground. But they're going to play like it. It's almost like, I want to come in 
pretend like I love you, balance stuff out. But truth be told, y'all never going to get nothing off the ground because this is clarifying that seven of swords. Remember when I say they're coming back to get away with something. So they're going to play like they want to balance stuff out with you. Then it's kind of like they want a tip for tat. Okay, I'm going to play like I want us to get back together. And then I'm going to pull the rug from up under your feet because I'm going to leave you out in the cold. So it's almost like they want access to your money for a minute. And then they're going to pretend like they don't want a relationship with you. They're going to use you and then they're going to pull back. Anything else you want the collective to know, spirit? This person wants you to believe that they are no longer on that Knight of Wands energy. That they have somehow switched directions with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands uh, collective. I'm not on my wilding out partying ways anymore. I'm not out here in these streets talking to any and everybody being the player of the year. I'm not doing that. This person is going to tell you I want less stress in my life. I'm looking for the person who... Who is going to be the best thing for me? Remember that King of Wands is somebody who look, will, in reverse, will look for the next best thing. I'm looking for that one that I can settle with. The one that's going to, you know, I can have that perfect life of money and status. I don't want no stress with you, Collector. They're going to tell you that they let those other options that they used to run after, they're going to tell you that they let them go with the world. They're going to tell you that they've just been waiting on the right opportunity to restore your faith. They're going to also tell you they don't want you to be out here single. They want y'all to be partners with the lovers. This person feels like they're going to miss out on a financial opportunity if they don't balance out the scales with you. If they don't come in with some sort of clarity and truth to balance things out, they feel like they're going to miss out on this brand new financial opportunity that you're about to be blessed with. Yeah, so this person knows that if they come towards you acting one-sided, like this would not be good for them. To act one-sided, like this is going to put them at odds with getting the Ten of Pentacles up right. So like they know it's a bad idea to act one-sided, um, because then they won't get the Ten of Pentacles. So they don't want to act that way. This person has been thinking about this plan for quite some time. On how to get you to want to look out for them again. How can I get the collective to look out for me again? To want to birth new opportunities with me again. I don't need them to believe that I'm not out here juggling them. That I don't want this to end. That I want us to work together. That I want to reverse the tower. They need you to believe that they want to reverse the tower after you walked away. How it bothered them when y'all quit talking. <coughs> and communication slowed down. They're going to tell you they want to marry you. They want to balance out stuff. They want to have a stable life with you. They're going to try to reassure you, even though you don't have much confidence in it, that they are trying to bring this back under control and that they want to be the emperor, a very responsible person that shows up for you. They're going to tell you that they don't want to go back to a hopeless situation between the two of y'all. They want to resurrect something better, you know, than y'all had the first time. 
you know, the first time y'all broke up, but this time they're back. And this time they want to do it right. They want to actually marry you this time and pour out the love. So basically, to me, to me, from what I'm seeing in the cards, it looks like somebody's trying to sell you a dream. And then they're going to pull the rug from up under your feet. And the reason why they're selling you a dream is because they feel like you tried to cut them out of a financial opportunity. So they're going to use you for as long as they can. Get you to buy the dream so that they can get the financial opportunity from you. Then right before you're supposed to get married, they leave you to break your heart so that they, they can make you feel as bad as in their minds you made them feel. So basically, y'all dealing with a childish person. Somebody's not looking at the fact that... They're the ones who went off and talked to third parties. You went in obviously into making money. So they're mad at you for making money. But their thought is you knew I was coming back. But you're saying, but we both had a choice. You could have chose to go make some money, but you chose third parties. So who are you mad at? And their thing was, I mean, but we weren't married. So what was I supposed to just not talk to nobody? You knew I was coming back to you, collective. This person is mad. They mad of your level up. They're mad that you feel like you're going to leave them out. So they're going to play cool. They're going to say and do whatever they got to to get to come back. The question is, are you going to allow this person back? It didn't look like it. But they're going to try and say and do. I mean, somebody going to be on their most perfect behavior. They're going to be so helpful. Oh, my God. They're going to pay for things. They might buy you flowers. They're going to be so sweet to you to get you to buy this. This charade. Then they're going to get you to lower your guard. Take some of that money that you just birthed. And then right when you think you're about to get married. Some people are like that. My uh, sister's husband did her like that. They had broken up. And uh, yeah. It was a whole thing. So he wanted to get her back. So they got back together. He played cool. And then he pulled the rug from up under her feet. And it did not go well because the police ended up showing up. It did not go well, y'all. It did not go well. So people will pull the rug from up. And she was pissed. But that was his get back. People will sometimes smile in your face, y'all. And, and play nice. And some of y'all will think because a period of time has gone by that these people have changed. Uh, listen, when somebody shows you who they are, y'all have got to start believing them. You got to. Oh, well, it's been such and such amount of time. They seem like they changed. What makes you feel like they changed? Because they, 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 they showering you with love? That's a love bomb. A person that who, who has truly changed, they do way more than that. Like spiritually, they they've done stuff to go be by themselves to heal. They've tried, they've done the shadow work, y'all. It goes beyond just they coming back and they nice to you. What shadow work have they done? Um, what kind of relationship do they have with the most high in their spiritual team? What are y'all like? What is your line for? They have changed because a lot of y'all, from what I'm seeing, y'all, oh, well, they're, they're calling me again. They're telling me that they love me and then y'all falling for it. And then I got to sit here and I'm reading y'all's messages and I'm, my heart is breaking because some of y'all are falling for this shit. These people are mad at you because you don't look like shit. You leveled the fuck up. They're mad at you for not depend, like being codependent. A lot of y'all are not codependent. A lot of y'all got high self-esteem. They're mad at you because you're a go-getter. 
And somebody who feels less than that wants to project their feelings onto you. If they feel less than about themselves, they need you to feel less than. They're not going to try to level up to your level to be where you're at. Everybody here had a choice. You could have went out and talked to third parties. You didn't. You chased the bag. They chased ass. Y'all ain't got nothing in common. So I don't give a damn if they come back and they smile in your face and tell you, no, I've changed. Bullshit. Bullshit. Show me the real change. Where's the shadow work? What does your relationship with spirit look like? Because in my gut, it ain't telling me, my, 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 my bullshit detector is telling me you're bullshitting. When I get a personal reading, it should be in a line that, yeah, you did the goddamn work. Y'all just believe in people just because it's like time went by and they just, oh, well, they're giving me money. They're looking out. They let me have a place to stay. And then they pull the rug from up under your feet and now you're heartbroken all over again. A lot of these people have already showed you who they are. And if you don't believe that you're dealing with a devil, the devil never shows up acting like the devil. The devil was an angel. He comes acting like an angel. Then he tricks you into believing that that old person is not there. And then out of nowhere, now they're talking to you crazy. you back in isolation and you're dealing with some narcissistic asshole. This draining you of your energy. This going to use you up and then leave you worse than they left you the first time. And y'all deserve better than that. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. I probably won't do Scorpio or Taurus because my throat's starting to burn again. But I want to give y'all something. I love y'all. I do. And even though I don't know you personally... I do care about you all enough to keep trying to get you to understand a snake is a snake. When somebody shows you the back of their ass, believe them. Believe them, y'all. A person who was never satisfied with all the things that you did for them the first time. Why do you think that over time and then being nice, oh, they're going to appreciate me this time. They're not. I was listening to a reading the other day, and this girl was saying there was a guy who had got, who had a choice between two, got the other woman to perform all kinds of sexual acts and still wasn't satisfied. And it's like you done bent over backwards, put your body through all kinds of shit you might not want to try to please a person who still ain't satisfied. Why? And I guarantee you, this person knew that this person was already a butthole. Y'all got to learn to love yourselves more than these people. The love that you keep trying to show these people, start pouring it into yourself. That's all I got for y'all. I'm going to keep saying it. Because sometimes repetition, some of y'all got to hear this shit more than once. You got to love yourself. All right, y'all, that's it. That's all I have for you on I'm the Light. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for my, your patience with my little raspy voice. If you need a personal reading, hit me up at I'm the Light Tarot at gmail.com. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Y'all, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye, baby.